Hello YouTube, here we are again, another day, another video. Um, so let's get straight into it. So a couple of days ago I did a video about photographs um, and how you can sell them for money on eBay and Etsy etc. Now they were, most of them, were snapshots. Photos taken like you or I would take. And um, people are interested in them, you know, that little slice of um, personal history and the fashions of the time or the cars and stuff. Um, here is another type of photo that I've had success with and actually it does bring more money in. Now they're press photos which um, are photographs taken by professional photographers for publication or promotion of a band or a film or something. Um, so there's a few different types to look out for. Um, so what shall I show you first? Um, music. So most music artists when they're being promoted have these 8x10 black and white glossy stills and you can pick them up now. I mean I don't know if they still... this is all pre-internet you see. I, I guess that they don't promote artists in the same way. I guess now they would just send out an electronic file with a few photos attached. But, I mean, I don't know how the modern in music industry works. But back in, like, the 80s and 90s, um, they would physically send out through the mail a press pack um, with a couple of sheets of information and a couple of black and white photos, you know, which could be used. And um, you can buy stacks of these now in auctions and stuff. People have really got rid of them. And... Um, so just for example, here's Mike Peters. He was the lead singer of The Alarm, a great band from the 1980s who came from Wales. Um, presidents of the United States of America, fun American punk band, Ash, um, an Irish band, there's at Roachford. Um, there's, there's loads. And do you know what? Don't get hung up thinking that you have to have the Rolling Stones or Madonna. I mean, they certainly sell and get a good price. In fact, if you're going for like the Rolling Stones or Madonna, those big people. I tend to like photographs from like the first 10 years of their career seem to be the ones that people really pay for. Um, but you know, people, smaller bands, one hit wonders, people who just had one album, they sell as well. Now you can sell these. Um, I sell these regularly for like 12 99 each. They probably all cost me. I, I would have bought a big stack um, for about 20, 30 quid from an auction, about 100, 200 of them. So what are they costing me? 20, 20 pence. And I sell them for 12.99. Don't sell all of them. You know, you take time listing all of them, but you will certainly, you, know, you only have to sell two to get back the money that you paid at the auction or three. And then over the next, um, they're not necessarily a quick seller. It's something you put up there and you know, it, it just keeps ticking over. Um, who's that? That's Lynx, you know. Who, I think, oh, hang on, please return to the, yes, it is, it's Lynx. That's David Grant, his his band, like, back in 1980. Wow. Um, and some really obscure bands here. I mean, I don't even know who these people are. The Lark's Pain in the Neck. Sorry, I keep, sorry, I'm such a novice at making these videos. I keep thinking I'm going out of focus when I show you things. Um, so anyway, sorry, let's rattle through this. I don't want to make this a long video. Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam. Classics. Oh, here's something. Here's, here's a wake up call to make you realize how old you are. Hip Hop. I was checking some recent prices of what um, these press photos were going for. The hip hop um, 8x10 black and white glossies, some of them go for like 70 or 80 quid. Because of course, you know, I grew up when hip hop was this new exciting music genre. And I'm in denial now that it's a few decades old. So actually people collect it. So look out for those early hip hop um, black and white photos. So um, if you ever see, so basically for a good like stock item that turns over, you get music ones, you also get film ones. Hang on. Um, so. Ah, I'm annoyed. I've got these fantastic film ones um, from like the 40s or 50s. I'll have to look them out and um, they're, they're really something. But here are a few um, Dustin, you know, I don't have many film ones because they sell really well. Um, so Dustin Hoffman, blame it on the bellboy. Um, Bette Midler, Ruthless People, for example. So again, these are like 1980s 
films. These tend to come in sets, whereas a band would have like a couple of black and white promo pictures, a film would have eight or ten. So sometimes you get them in sets and people will pay like, you know, 80, 90 quid to get a good set of um, film panic button. Here's an older film. Um, I have no idea who those people are. I buy a lot of these. This has been ripped off, but a lot of press photos have information either written or stuck onto the back. So make sure that you, um, if you're selling them, to tell you know put that in the listing so people aren't disappointed when they get them because some of them have been handled quite a bit. Also, some of these for this is an English TV actress called Pat Phoenix. Um, it's signed, but just be careful because that's not an actual signature, that's a printed signature. So you have to be careful when you get a lot of these photos that um, they look signed, but it's actually not authentic. I don't tend to, I don't ever deal with autographs and stuff because um, I just, you know, I just can't be doing with the, the possibility that it might be a forgery, whatever. Um, okay, um, so that's music and film. What else have we got? Okay. Well, this is this is literally a press photo that I guess this woman had a um, article about her in the newspaper, and so they took a photo of her. Do you know what? I, I I can see that the light is shining on these glossy photos. If if they don't come up well, I'll I'll drop it in so you can see them properly. Um, so look, here's a good example of what's often on the back. So it's just a lot of reference numbers, copyright. Oh, here's a thing about these. You know I said with the snapshots, some of those 100-year-old snapshots that you could scan them in and sell downloads of them, actually you can't do that with these because they remain the copyright of the photographer or the press agency and you will get in trouble. <laughs> so um, these are purely, you know, for buying and selling. Um, oh, this is, okay, 1967, Jeanette Campbell from Watford, Pretty Housewife. <laughs> Oh, well, um, but that's a fantastic photograph, isn't it, of the time with the fashion and her hair and that dress. Love it. You'll get a few quid for that. Um, oh, look at them. This is, um, I think that's Johnny Halliday, actually, and um, but that's quite damaged. But, um, oh, who's that? Can you see who that is? I don't really deal in um, royal stuff. Be interesting to see what that gets, won't it? I'm gonna put that on soon. Oh, look at this one. Wow, this was a find. I remember I actually found this rummaging through um, a box. I'll drop it in um, at a postcard fair. That is um, David Bailey, English photographer of the 1960s, with Marianne Faithful there on the um, left, or is it the right? I'm looking at it a different way to you. Um, and Christine Keeler as well, she who was caught up in the perfume affair, and Penelope Tree. So actually, that's a really cool photograph of four icons, if you like, of the 1960s. So um, we'll see. Um, what else have we got? Oh, um, transportation, just quickly, you know, you will get as much as people promote music and, and films, people promote um, planes and uh, cars and stuff, you know, so, and they go pretty well if you get some good makes of car and stuff. Um, these are ace. So these are like social history newspaper pictures. Here we are, a youth. Um, remonstrating with a policeman. Wow, that's a real slice of the 1970s London, isn't it? And look at these two. Ah, oh, these two, these three. I love them. They're so cheeky. That's, I, I love, I'm not going to sell that. Do you know what? That needs to be up on the wall, doesn't it? It's fantastic. I was like, I was a kid. I was a tiny kid when these were about. I used to really love them and look up to them, all that two-tone um, specials and madness and stuff. I'm never selling that. <laughs> I'm not selling anything. Um, okay, what else have I got in here? Oh, sport, actually. Now, listen, um, football stuff goes very well. If you have old match photos um, taken on the sidelines and stuff of certain teams, 
Um, if you go on to Google and look at the Google, I said YouTube yesterday, it's eBay. Go on there and have a look at the um, ones which have recently sold. So if you ever see um, press photos of a football match or anything, um, grab them. Um, what else? <laughs> oh look, I've just noticed actually, it says here, look, box of press photos, 50 pence each or 30 pounds for the lot. Well, you can guess what I said. I'll take the lot. So, and then that was chock full. And I've been selling them for 12 99 each, a lot of them. So, this is the kind of money you can make with press photos. Um, ah, oh, Joe Mangle. <laughs> Don't know if anybody wants that these days, but um, yeah, there was a lot of these in here, like just headshots of dignitaries and stuff. I haven't tried to sell in high court judges. It says on the back who every single one of them is. I wonder if that's um, worth listing them. Hey, look, do you know what? Oh, who she's very pretty. Um, I just need to get on and, and start listing, don't I? Because um, there's a lot of money to be made here. Um, what else? Oh, yes. W wait for this. Wow, hang on, let me just get all of this out of the way. Now, these um, are really something. So, um, during lockdown, I just took a punt on an auction, which I hadn't been to and I hadn't looked at. You know, I just get restless and hadn't bought anything for a while. So I just thought, why the hell not? And I ended up with this box of um, press photos, which are amazing. Do you know what? For this, I'm going to activate the overhead camera. <laughs> Here we are, an amazing box of photos. Now, how am I gonna do this? Okay, let's have a look at these. So, these I found out are from a photographer called Paul Popper, and they're all, it's a whole um, box of photos, but they also come with the negative of each one. But like I said, before you can't sell the rights to his photos. So just be careful when you sell that you're just selling it as a physical item. Um, some of these are amazing. Do you know what I noticed that Getty Images actually were looking after his estate and um, I offered them to them and I just couldn't get a decent reply after like three emails. So I just thought, well, do you know what? I'm just going to um, sell them. Now, can we see this? Shall I go in? Honestly, these, these photographs that he took, is there dates on them? No, but they're from all over, this is Brasilia, Brazil. Um, these are like from all over the world. He um, has seen, taken photos of fishermen and stuff and I, they look like male models. They're insane. And um, where's this one from? Africa. And, um, I think they're really something, you know. They could be on the front cover of Vogue, couldn't they? Well, not the front cover, but you know what I mean, in an editorial. <laughs> That's very sweet, isn't it? Of this young girl. Uh, now, actually, another um, type of press photo which um, does get good money are of these political rallies I need to be careful what I say um, but look you can see by the flags that it's a particular type of rally now I know that um, this kind of thing does fetch um, quite a bit of money and um, any kind of um, one from like a historical event Oh my goodness, look at him with his reindeer. They're amazing, they're absolutely um, amazing. More men, workmen, you know. Oh God, I could look at these all day long. They look like male models, don't they?
So what am I going to do with them? Um, ah, oh, who's this? Is he a spoon bill? Yes, he's a spoon bill. Wonderful. So look, I have like 300 of them. I'm not going to make this a massive um, video, but um, you know, it's a, these boxes are out there. So um, go and find them and have a rummage. Because I mean, if anything, might not make you a millionaire, but gosh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Just buy them and keep them. <laughs> Keep them like me. I need to change the name of this channel. I, I think I should just be called the keeper of things. Um, anyway, um, let's um, deactivate the overhead camera. So, you know, I could look at them all day long. They're amazing, aren't they? Um, I need to list them. Um, why don't I list them? Because I want to keep them. I, I have a disease. I. I, I just, I don't want to sell anything, what's my problem? Um, I, I need to, because I need the money, but wow. Yeah, go, just go, you'll find them. Just look for big boxes of press photos and stuff. The next time you're at a um, flea market or something, if somebody's got, make them an offer for the whole box, because it will be worth it. And um, so that's press photos. Um, I need to get better at ending these videos, don't I? Um, I'll see you tomorrow.